To Be Like Jesus, written by Ellen G. White. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Each little flower that opens, each little bird that sings, He made their glowing colors, He made their tiny wings. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Relating to the Natural Word August 9th The beauty of nature reveals God's character. I'll lift up my eyes to the hills, from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Psalm 121 verses 1 and 2 I once had the pleasure of beholding one of the Colorado's most beautiful sunsets. The great master artist had hung out on the shifting canvas of the heavens for the benefit of all, both rich and poor, one of his finest paintings. It almost seemed that the gates of heaven were ajar and that we might see the beauty there was within. All, oh, though I thought, as one after another passed without Noticing the scene, if it had been painted by human hands, how many would have been ready to fall down and worship it? God is a lover of the beautiful. He loves beauty of character, and he would have us cultivate purity and simplicity, the quiet graces of the flowers. We are to seek for the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God of great price. Parents, what kind of education are you giving to your children? Are you teaching them to cherish that which is pure and lovely? Or are you seeking to place their hands in that of the world? Are you spending time in the means that they may learn the outward priorities of life and secure the superficial, the deception adornment of the world? From their earliest childhood, open before them the great book of nature. Teach them the ministry of the flowers. Show them that if Jesus had not come to earth and died, we should have none beautiful things which we now enjoy. Call their attention to the fact that the color and even the arrangement of every delicate bud and flower is an expression of the love of God to human beings, and that affection and gratitude to their Heavenly Father should be awakened in their hearts for all these gifts. Jesus, the greatest teacher the world ever knew, drew the most valuable illustration of truth from sins in nature. Parents, imitate his example and use the things of, that delight the senses to impress important truth upon the mind of your children. Take them out in the morning and let them hear the birds caroling forth their songs of praise. Teach them that we too should return thanks to the bountiful giver of all for the blessings we daily receive. Teach them that it is not just that makes the man or the woman, but that it is the true goodness of heart. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. The cold wind in the winter, the pleasant summer sun, the ripe fruits in the garden, he made them every one. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, 
The Lord God made them all. Join us tomorrow for another devotional reading by God's grace. Immerse yourself in the word of God and his creation and you will be truly blessed.